Hi guys, it's Ken with this week's News Refresh. We all know that modern cars are getting more and more computerized. Drivers are pushing automakers to roll out features like park assist, blind spot monitoring, lane departure warnings, and a myriad of other computer run tech overhauls. And all of this is to help drivers pay as little attention as possible while they're behind the wheel. Well, guess what? There's a problem with getting a computer to do all the work for you. And it's one we all saw coming. That's right, now even cars are getting hacked. Just last Tuesday, Wired gave a shocking account of how two security researchers were able to hack a Jeep Cherokee from the comfort of their couch. That's right, two guys on their laptops were able to hack into Chrysler's Uconnect system and control the vehicle's radio, windshield wipers, AC, brakes, transmission, and even the steering. They were able to hack their test dummy Cherokee from over 10 miles away over the internet. Now, is this as easy as the two security researchers from Wired made it look? Well, no. You still need some pretty specific information about the vehicle, like the IP address, which the hackers had beforehand. More importantly, Chrysler has already released a security patch for the Uconnect systems that is supposed to fix the exploit. Yep, that's right. Just like Call of Duty and Windows, your car is getting a patch now. So, is this just a case of Chrysler dropping the ball here? Well, the Jeep Cherokee is the only vehicle that Wired tested, but Uconnect is just one of dozens of untested systems. There's no telling if GM OnStar, Lexus OnForm, Toyota Safety Connect, Hyundai Blue Link, or Infiniti's connection suffer the same vulnerabilities. The NHTSA responded to the report by saying that although they don't want to hinder new technologies, cybersecurity and privacy must be a high priority item for the industry and for the NHTSA. With automakers trying to push out autonomous tech as fast as possible, Maybe it's time we should start pressuring them to look at their software security before they actually release it. But what do you guys think? Will you be able to get into a car knowing that you can lose all control while you're driving down the highway? I mean, if you've drove a GM in the past 10 years, you already know what that's like. The Jeep Cherokee hack was the biggest automotive story this week, but be sure to subscribe for the latest in 4x4 news and hit up 4 Wheel Online for all your off-roading needs. I'm Ken, and you've just been refreshed.